Hey guys, it's Charlie. It's October 29th, Thursday. Um, first of all, thanks to everybody who uh, commented on, on the video I did yesterday. Um, and, I, and I keep forgetting to say in my videos that uh, I read every single comment uh, and usually uh, I'll check it for a couple hours after I post it and then answer, and I'll answer comments on that video for about that time. But, but I do read every single one of them and I feel bad because I know a lot of you uh, consistently comment uh, on every single video and I and I greatly appreciate it and I don't get to answer every one of them so please keep the comments coming I do appreciate them and I do read them all uh, CV1122 was the first one to to get the sign behind me that says banksters suck buy silver so I was wondering who would catch that first and it was CV because she's really sharp um, at any rate so here we are Thursday uh, GDP numbers came out and oh baby they were better than expected I and mean, Bloomberg had predicted a 3.2% uh, GDP growth, and I brought, I talked about that earlier this week. But the numbers came out, and they were 3.5. So we are absolutely on our way back to uh, recovery. And it, it was, um, uh, you know, I don't, I don't even want to do a negative video about the economy today because watching the children on uh, the business channels, it was kind of like watching kids open Christmas presents. You know, oh, we had a few bad days of down on the down on the Dow. We, we lost a couple hundred points, but then today came and oh boy, Santa came and dropped us off a 3.5, and we recovered it all in one day. That's awesome. Sure, the dollar fell 50 points, and silver went up 50 cents, and gold went up 20 bucks. But that's okay. We're we're in growth now. So, but it, it's comical and so predictable. Um, you know, I went out yesterday and bought uh, I bought another 30 ounces of silver and a little bit more gold, uh, just because I I didn't think it was going to fall much further, and uh, sure enough, that was a good deal because I made 50 cents today on on the silver um, in in less than 24 hours. So, you know, what's what's happening from here on out? I don't know. I think the euphoria of uh, a positive uh, quarter, technically a positive quarter in GDP. It'll probably keep the markets going for a while, which that that's great. You know, every time uh, we have a every time this rally uh, speeds forward, that just means your uh, your investments in commodities are doing that much better. Um, so I say let it run. I mean, they they can they can pump it all they want before they dump it, but at the end of the day, uh, the facts are going to still work out to be the same, which is we still have 530,000 people uh, file for first time claims this week. The unemployment rate uh, is going to post higher uh, November, and we're going into a Christmas season that is absolutely going to be the worst ever. There's, this is going to make last year look like uh, it was true um, rally season. You know, it's going to make last year look great. Um, I, and I don't know about you guys. Well, I do know about some of you because you tell me. But the, the, the uh, atmosphere in my community and the people I talk to it is far worse. I mean, these are people who are, are basically still asleep and they're still buying into what they hear on television. But the general attitude of the public, um, and, and that it can be confirmed with consumer confidence numbers coming out yesterday and they were lower than projected. But the average person is scared to death of this economy. It's, their, it's almost like an instinct is uh, being kicked up inside of them. And they realize that, you know, times are bad and they're getting worse and nobody's spending a dime they don't have to. So, you know, no matter how giddy Wall Street gets, no matter how giddy the mainstream media gets about the, the economy, the fact of the matter is this economy is still a 70% consumer economy and um, it is still faltering big time. And real estate is still plummeting big time. And uh, a quadrillion dollars of toxic uh, casino gambling debt is still on somebody's books and still going to need to be accounted for. So let the guys have their fun because uh, it's going to be short-lived for them, I'm, uh, I'm thinking. My favorite quote, though, uh, I wanted to share with you was from uh, William Stone from uh, in, in his investment strategist at the PNC Wealth Management. And he, this was my favorite quote I read today because uh, in his euphoria, in his uh, intoxication with the 3.5% GDP number, he was quoted as saying, and oh yeah, the fourth quarter will be the Bears' Waterloo, man. So uh, 
There they are. They're, you're going to get some in-your-face uh, comments today if you constantly talk the economy with your friends and family or coworkers. So let them have their due. They, they, uh, you know, they spent uh, $23.7 trillion spent or backed uh, bad debts with that money. And for that, we got a number of 3.5% growth. When everybody knows the real truth, jobs are falling by the wayside. Uh, Congress is now extend, uh, thinking of extending uh, unemployment benefits again. You know, what is this, the fourth, fifth extension? They, they're still going to do another uh, uh, extension on the, the first-time home buyer credit, or maybe even, I mean, I've read reports that said they're going to do uh, tax credits for people buying homes that uh, their family income is under $300,000. I mean, if this economy was truly getting better, it, it, these gimmicks would not even be being talked about now. But the fact of the matter is the economy is no better. It's worse than it was this time last year. You know, and, and for all the talk of, if you think back a year to where how this TARP and TALF and PPIP and all this bull crap was going to save the economy, I mean, think about it. They, they spent... 23.7, or committed, $23.7 trillion, enough to pay off every mortgage, every student loan, every credit card, every auto loan in this country. And, and the best they can eke out is a 3.5% GDP growth on the financial companies. On the financial companies that led us here, yet everybody's wages falling, unemployment's rising. Um, there's no metric that's, that they can really latch onto other than the financials. So... Anyway, the bull crap continues. This is their day to shine, so let them shine because uh, no matter how they polish this, um, it's still going to stink like a big pile of crap come tomorrow. That's all I got.